On today's episode of some more Clash Garbage, we have some updates on the Level 2 Ice Golem case. I'm starting off the video with this now because I know I'm going to forget about it later, even though this is an unforgivable act from the two people. Also, we got that Level 7 clan after the ending of Clan War League, so that is a massive W. So the two suspects were Hog Rider and Blue Robot 95. So Blue Robot sends me a bunch of messages on Discord because he claims that it wasn't him, and he sent his evidence to why it wasn't him, and I'll show you guys right now. So he says only person with level two right now is hog rider i think so instantly the inventor himself of the super wizard strategy puts on the target to someone else saying that it's him blue robot claims it's not him and he has more evidence to why it's not him and i'm gonna show you right now at everyone i just woke up to multiple level three golems in people's clan castles when seeing if my clan castle was full it's not me since i have a level three ice golem going to four all right pikmin tell me why i have it on video that your ice golem Columns were level two. Oh my god, I bet it's I bet it's this guy. I guarantee it's this guy because he sucks. Okay, what? Jaden somehow found out just by simply looking at people's profiles of who has level two ice golems, and now he knows that I'm one of the suspects. Oh, what can I do to prove my innocence? Uh, ice golem, ice golem. Oh, there we go. There, we go. bam. Now, now I can't be an option, right? What's very funny about this whole thing is that he gemmed his ice golem upgrade just so he would be far out of the equation, and then he started upgrading it to level four just to prove his safety. But when you try to pull something like that, it just makes it seem like it was you even more to me. Blue robot during the time of the donations. Your ice golems were level two. It doesn't matter what they are now, but during the time, it's also all on video. Yours were level two. Okay! Turns out it's also his birthday today as of recording this. So we're going to send out a nice clan mail for everyone to see. Every time I look at my base, I realize that I'm just closer and closer to Town Hall 15. So I'm trying to think if the hacker should start stacking up my magic items for Town Hall 15. Hello, Mr. Jaden. Thank you for spelling my name wrong. I'm writing this application to join your clan as I like your content very much. Thanks. Wow, you still can't visit people while trying to accept them into clans. At least you can't on PC. I'm pretty sure you can do it on your phone. Well, our only option is to accept him and then visit him. Area says they're white. The noob is not a bad Town Hall 10, but he's somehow placed under Kieran, which is something that's very hard to get to. Please, I love her, your videos. All right, Carlos, let's see if I love your base. And the answer would be no, because you rushed your heroes. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules around here, but someone's got to get the boot. This is a Town Hall 15. I really hope they're good. Oh, heck no. <laughs> How the heck is their king 59 and their queen 90? Oh, I'm retarded. That's the Grand Warden. I thought that was the Barbarian King. The king's 80. Yep, they're still leaving. Shouldn't have had the queen higher than the king. And now I know what's going to happen. There's going to be YouTube comments shortly because every time someone gets rejected, they throw a tantrum in my comments. Guys, if you get rejected, don't go to the comments section and let me know you got rejected. It was for a good reason 99.9% .9 of the time. Wow, what a use of emojis that is. A Town Hall 13 in Legend. That's very very impressive. Well, is your king level impressive? Oh, heck no, it isn't. No, it isn't. So glad you're able to max out your archer queen before even getting started on your king. I think your king is still town hall 12 leveled. He couldn't even be bothered to max out the king for town hall 12, but he made sure to already max out his queen for 13. We got a ton of upgrades that'll be done in seven days and 18 hours from now. After many months without sleeping to getting the glowy ore of 607, we can finally max out the rage gem. There we go. Ooh, we got the warden max for abilities now i think i heard that they're releasing a new event and that they're adding a new epic item for the grand warden we got to react to that why not do a reaction on this video ed well let's see if your name should have special before that name because then we'll see if you're worthy of joining oh i feel so bad for kicking the noobs I just spent four gems on four archers. I am ashamed of that. Well, unfortunately for you, Ed, you're out of here. I kind of feel bad. Why did you do that, Jaden? Because I can. Oh, <gasps> we got this to level nine. Four million and 80,000 for max level. These builder upgrades are such a pain in my little keister, especially with how long they take as well. And you only get two builders. That's why it's so hard to do everything here. And I still somehow have a gold rune. There are some things I wanted to do on camera. We already did one of them, which was to max out the rage gem. Guys, I have to show you this. We came in second in Clan War League. We were on top for the most part because we were just going up against people that were worse than us. Again, more unfair matchmaking from Supercell. But that's nothing new. That's always a thing. That's a thing in every single Supercell game. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. Because with Clash Royale, you'll be a king level 12 and you'll go up against someone with level 15 cards. I'm pretty sure there's even some rigness in Heyday. You'll have chickens fight off someone with cows. Obviously, the chickens are going to get their necks stomped into the ground because you're going up against people with cows. 
cows. This replay saved though. I was matched up against the Town Hall 16 and I three-starred them. Yes, they don't have max defenses. Wait, this is the wrong one. Not this one. Not this one. Oh my god. Yeah, and for number five, I am so dumb. I was supposed to attack my mirror, but I attacked number seven for some reason because I used to be placed number seven in the clan, so my instinct was to go for number seven, and yes, I'm blind, and I didn't see that this base was already taken down, and I clicked attack, and I screwed myself. We still won the war, but I'm the reason why we didn't get the perfect 90 stars. So this is the base I three-starred. Yes, not everything is max, but I'm still at a huge disadvantage because he's got the monolith, the spell towers. He's got a maxed out scatter shot. He has maxed out air missiles, which is a hard counter for my attack. There was no chance of me getting my blimp through here, so I thought maybe I just want to get two stars. 50% is all I need, and I'll be happy. Lava Hound goes that way. I drop the blimp there, and I drop it really early. And people are saying that this whole strategy got nerfed, but to that I say you are full of crap, like always. They are really low HP, so I'm getting scared, so I think I start deploying the invisibilities faster than normal, but then we end up getting the Town Hall, which is huge. They attempt to shoot down the minions, but unfortunately they're just not powerful enough to do so, so they all get blown up by the rockets. So I only destroy 16% with the blimp, but I think that that's enough to get 50% surely. Deploy a queen in this corner to clean up that side, a king in this corner to clean up this side, and then I send the whole entire army through the middle to clear out this zone. So I'm a genius. I wait to use the warden ability for the poison spell to hit all the troops. So I wait for that to go flying like this. Wait. Then, then I use the ability. So now nothing's getting hurt, but they are slowing down a little bit, but it's not really too much of a problem because they're clearing out everything. I haven't even deployed my Royal Champion yet. I think I was saving it for a strategy or I just forgot. Wait, I'm stupid. I did place it. I just don't use the ability until way later. This is probably my best attack ever. I was so happy and proud of this moment because I'm a Town Hall 14. There's no reason why I should have three-starred this base. I use the ability now at a dumb time because it was when the bomb tower was still intact, so they all got blown up pretty much for the most part but one of the hogs ends up surviving somewhere yes this hog right here he survives the whole entire game and again i don't know why i'm able to get that ability so high leveled while i'm town hall 14 it doesn't show the actual in-game timer it shows how much of the replays left but there is about like 40 seconds left and i had just enough time for the troops to make it over to the gold mine that somehow got missed yeah this was just one of my proudest moments ever level 26 king at town hall 11 town hall 9 walls yet yeah, he's already not going in i don't even need to visit his base then well we can look at this guy we just accepted him so let's visit him and then kick him out probably because i've been disappointed by everybody level 56 queen level 55 king oof yep you screwed yourself with that one what's his name jar wars jarwan khan kick out see crispy bacon already knows what's up i should have him recruit people for me because he already knows the rules he already knows who's getting kicked and who's staying actually let's visit crispy bacon's base he's a very goaded town hall 10 how's his builder base looking honestly not bad at all wow i actually have a lot of respect for this guy he's not rushing his builder base either i rushed the heck out of mine just so i could get the new builder on my main base Oh, wow, good for him. There was a point in time where I didn't want to rush the builder base. It was until I got to builder hall seven. I was like, I'm not doing this anymore, but we're slowly building it back up. We're doing really good on the main defenses. The walls are going to be the biggest pain though, but who cares about this garbage? I'm leaving it. I don't think there's a single thing I can use this dark elixir on and I'm very impatient. So I'm going to use a rune of dark elixir because I want to do an upgrade. We will be maxing out Lassie right now. Now we're done with pets. Time to get scammed again by upgrading the golem. It wouldn't surprise me if the minion was always done last. Let's check out the second account. How did I get 30 medals from Clan War League? Was I in Clan War League and I didn't even attack once? Oh my god, lady, I don't want to talk to you. Stop, please. Claim reward. What what reward? Thank you for telling me that I got a reward and giving me nothing. I don't think I was in a single battle, but I got 30 medals anyway. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, I didn't know that that was the advertisement behind this shop offer. Happy Women's Day. Woo, I'm sure all the Clashers are having a joy ride today because they love their Archer Queen. When is Men's Day? I need to look this up. I feel like there's no... Oh, this is going to sound so bad. <laughs> okay, there is a Men's Day. It's on... November 19th. I didn't know that that was a thing. I'm pretty sure they didn't even put any shop offers in the game for men's day. What I was going to say is I feel like there's no days that I can feel like I'm allowed to celebrate. For example, I'm pretty 
sure there's no white people day. Holy crap, the 2.0 clan's already gotten to level 3. Maybe I should talk to these people because I haven't talked to them in a very long time. I'm just gonna gem this archer tower so I can go to the next town hall. I think I'm maxed out now. Yep, and I'm not upgrading the walls. I'm never upgrading the shrine walls and I'm never upgrading this rock because the rock needs a buddy. Let's go to town hall 5. Woo! Ooh, that town hall 5 pack looks nice. No! That was an accident. Ooh, it gives us a max level wizard tower, so we don't have to worry about that. And a new army camp, that's what's up. And we can finally use spells on this account. Why, why is it that every time I click shop, it takes me to the offers? What if I want to go to the defenses? And we have to build more walls. No. I, mm, stop! I'm... Please. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. Yesterday, I got so close to filming a YouTube short where I just completely destroy this monitor. I was playing Spider-Man 2. I actually played it on my free time to give the game a chance because I know I didn't like it in the videos, but I had so much fun playing it and I really liked it overall. I finished it yesterday, but I don't know what it was, but my monitor kept on shutting off and I was just about to punch it to death. How much will this cost us here? Well, we maxed it already. Should I have spent all this gold on these walls? Probably not. Do I care? No, because I never play this account. It gets left in the bottom of the toy box all the time, so there's a bunch of dust on it anyway. And we're done with all the walls already. I gotta upgrade the laboratory, and we're gonna gem it, because I don't want to wait. And who's next? The Barbarian. Sure, why not? And the clan castle can get in. What? Town Hall 6? Oh, probably because they don't want people attacking others with dragons this early in the game. I respect it, but then yet again, that's a dumb theory, because you guys give Town Hall 9 players electro dragons. All it takes is one of those to pretty much three star a whole entire base Ooh, we get to unlock the wizard as well all right i'm out i'll see you next year skyler skyler's a girl's name but a lot of boys have that name skyler's got a level 45 queen and we're gonna take a guess what his king is i'm gonna say his king is 35 oh 45 as well okay he has equal treatment here I'm looking at the bases from the people that are requesting to join star is pretty strange he's got a town hall five with i think level four walls but all of his other defenses are level one like his cannons and archer towers his air missile and he has a level one wizard tower I'm so good at this game that I didn't even get to see what a level one wizard tower was. Phantom left a message of Ich Motachi Demba Barbarian. So I want to see what that means. It means he's pretty much a max town hall six, but he's not joining because the clan he was in previously is called Dragonfire, and that's a silly name. All right, he's gone. Welcome to the clan, Skylar. Two rules. Don't be stupid and make sure your king is a high enough level. Oh my god. So the event that's coming out is another dragon event, and it's a super dragon dragon so it's already something we already have so i guess for the people that don't have super troops unlocked so that means you're under town hall 11 it's made for those people to have fun with their cyber bullying hobbies oh this guy's really enthusiastic i'm asking if they're a guy or a girl because skylar's a girl's name and i just don't know no Jaden. he's saying that like i'm not allowed to ask i don't want to assume genders because that's a crime nowadays so skylar is a guy see there we go now i know the answer so i won't assume sky's gender Epic equipment for your grand warden the what <laughs> that looks so fake there's no way that that's real <laughs> why does it look so bad <laughs> that is horrible why did they just copy the clash royale fireball i'm pretty sure the fireball in the beginning of clash royale also looked something like this and then they changed it later on there's no way <laughs> the only thing devastating about it is its look. They're totally going to change it. I'm calling it. There's no way they don't change that. They had the evolved troops in Clash Royale. Now the new pay to win is hero equipment. I mean, I'd say Clash of Clans is fine for now, but I feel like they're pushing it with these abilities. It wouldn't surprise me if they started adding even more stronger abilities and made it so you literally have to pay to compete and keep up what you have to get stars to get ice cubes i guess it's only fair that way because you don't have those losers using giant arrow and spells just to destroy the stuff needed thank you for that drastic change just from changing the training time no it isn't that is such bullcrap they're giving these people 
super dragons that early in the game? Why couldn't they just make something for everybody? Something new. Not yeah. Okay, let's let's not act like the level matters when it comes to those Town Hall 8, 9, and 10 players. Let's act like a level 1 isn't going to be as strong as a level 6 dragon, if not stronger. Oh, shoot. I guess you can have three super troops now. Oh, the event's tomorrow? Bet. It, wait, is the custom decoration literally just a bucket of ice? <laughs> There's no way! There's no way! What? Are we gonna get this for the decoration after completing the pass? At least the event goes live. Wow, I gotta give it up to Supercell for this one, though. Wait, what was that decoration? It was something else. A Goblin Explorer. I guess that's pretty cool. I did say in the last video, I'm pretty sure, that I do like the stone decorations, and I will like that. That is a nice one. I was gonna say, though, I gotta give it up to Supercell for releasing another event already, because these are really fun to do. It just adds something else to do in the game. So, for you Legend League people, People that are only able to attack seven times a day luckily for you you get a 15 percent increase on ice cubes and don't get me wrong that's not horrible compared to being able to attack as many times as you want by getting maybe double to even triple to even quadruple the amount of ice cubes just because you're not in legend Ooh, the shop so guys you get the bottom half of a toilet filled with what you would find in a construction workers porta potty that's the only bonus thing you get what why in this case, <laughs> I still can't believe that that's how it looks. <laughs> There's no way. I saw that someone sent a video in my Discord server of that fireball, but I thought it was fake. I didn't think it was real, but no. <laughs> the clashy crater, yeah. That's a crater to dump human waste. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, no, I shouldn't have been spending my stuff then because I could upgrade the Grand Warden Fireball. No, we are going to be needing glowy ore because that is impossible to get. I really hope they sell these ores in the shop. They have to. Oh my lord. What the? You see the projectile damage? Is that enough to destroy a town hall? All of the villagers that are living inside the bases are actually going to experience Hiroshima. <laughs> Reaches four. Oh, yeah. The splash damage is only four tiles because that's not a lot at all. Because that's not quadruple of an electro dragon. Oh, that's unfortunate. Only four tiles? What? Wait, it's six? It's six? I, I, this epic gear is such a pain to upgrade. All right, I think I've seen enough. I don't need to watch anymore. It actually is starting tomorrow. I was going to say with the epic gear, it's such a pain to upgrade because of Starry Ore, but I think I already have a ton of it. Oh yeah, I have enough, I think. But there's something else I don't have quite a lot of. I think we'll be done there today until the event starts. All right, Clashers, it's the next <laughs> It's the next day, meaning the event has started, meaning we get our bathtub now. So let's check this one out. Ooh, 100 ice cubes right off the bat. I want to thank you all for channel support again because I haven't uploaded in six days with my channel still growing strong. We are at 26,615 subscribers as of recording right now, and I just want to say thank you. I can't believe that I'm gaining at least 100 subs a day from doing nothing. It kind of sounds awful to say that, but that's how it's been going. And there's someone else in my comments comment section it's some among us dude oh wow his at is retard alert 7337 so this guy is on an 18 day commenting streak saying day 18 of commenting dragon king is better than gingerbread skin until Jaden agrees this buffoon believes that the gingerbread man is worse than godzilla i already told him he's gonna be commenting forever because i'm never gonna admit to it so just have fun typing away you are wasting seconds of your day typing that out because i'll never admit to it because it's just simply not true all right i already know how this works so we don't have to read any of that thankfully and we instantly get something that we've already had in the game that's awesome unfortunately you do need ice cubes to progress however there's something that you don't really need to do and that's progress because i can do a little thing called spending money to get the fireball and just like that guys we have six thousand tokens wow we got the fireball pretty fast i'd say i love how it looks so nice on the picture there but then once you see the actual gameplay footage it still 
garbage. I'll only be able to upgrade this to about level two, I think, because then I'm not going to have enough. Oh, wow. I do have enough glowy ore. What can I get this to? All right, level five is as high as I'm getting it because I can't afford it. Actually, we can spend some tokens here and we're sold out. Something I'm going to do eventually is buy the builder potions here. So this is what I'm going to do. They're selling six potions. I may as well use all these five right now. And I'm going to look something up because I don't feel like doing the math. How much time does five builder potions save? Using a builder Okay, I know how much time one saves off. That's not the question I asked. You literally read the question that I asked and then you did not answer it. You gave me a totally different answer from a different question that I did not ask for. So you're going to make me do the math by myself. Two days and two hours. I don't know if I got that math wrong. I really do not give a crap. This is why I don't go to school. Well, I sure had fun with that math lesson today. Back to upgrading the fireball we go. And here's our problem again. We don't have enough glowy ore and we're not going to get enough for a very long time unless they sell a ton here do i have to buy the event oh my god why is it five dollars this time and not six i swear has it always been five i thought it was six before unless if that's just the pass royale <gasps> just like that right off the bat we get 60 glowy ore i can see all right we've unlocked a toilet that has an alive turd inside of it what else should i buy with my coins just the starry ore then well this really does suck is it gonna be worth using the fireball to replace both of these i don't know maybe that's just stupid i'm gonna have to replace the maxed out rage gem i just maxed that out and now there's stuff better than it because i know the eternal tome isn't worse than the rage gem I think someone in my comment section told me how to get rid of the keybinds. Although I'm pretty sure it's just a troll to make me close out everything like those kids in school would tell you. Hold Alt F4 to maximize your screen. <gasps> what? Did you guys say I clicked it and it made the noise, but it did not work. Huh. Turns out I had two people comment how to help me out on this one. Alpha B and Arsenal Urinal have said to use shift plus tab to deactivate the keyboard controls. I'm not sure where it says that to figure that one out. I'm not too sure if you guys were experimenting because I highly doubt that's the case. I'm going to try it out though, but for some reason, I'm not really trusting it. Shift and tab. That didn't do anything. It just opened this. Wait, this? <gasps> oh, you can't change your key slots. How do I delete them though? No. Shift and tab. Now what? It doesn't tell me delete them. Who uses the keybinds anyway to place troops? Because you still have to use your mouse regardless to place them. Well, whatever. It's not telling me how to remove them. It's not giving me an option. Why is every single per... No, I clicked next again. Stop making me attack people that I don't want to attack. Actually, you're not making me attack them because I can just get right out if I want to. So frick you, game. It's got to be a PC thing that gives you the most rigged matchups in the world. I'm very low in Titan League right now. I haven't been been playing as much so i've dropped a lot of trophies from losing defenses oh well this is a good nice 10k dark elixir i don't even think there's anything i could spend my dark elixir on other than the minion she's dead man it's so unfortunate not seeing the rage gem because i like how they give you a seizure when they flash on and off purple oh thank you royal champion for stepping away from the aura because i purposefully placed you over there just so your hogs would be invincible but you clearly don't give a crap all right let's watch this nuke in action actually run away for that single target inferno because it is a defensive targeting ability this warden just ruined all of my fun wait a second <gasps> whoa that was really garbage value. So glad I attacked this one for seven trophies. Well, I guess it's good. I don't know why I'm complaining about only getting seven trophies if I always want to drop down anyway. Of course, the moment I start recording, everybody gets offline. There were seriously 13 out of 50 people online at once just a few moments ago. And now they've all scattered away. Oh, well, I still got the donations from Triple Z. So thank you, Triple Z. More glowy ore. This is such a stupid event. And when you sit and think about it, there's no way they can possibly make an event worse than the 2024 lunar new year right i just found a dude that was in legends no way you found that in clash of clans dude i went outside earlier today and i live in florida right and guess what i saw you wouldn't believe it i saw a lizard outside i kind of want to gem this so i can start the next upgrade whoops and back you go i cannot wait to be done with this i think i've said that about a thousand million times but i seriously cannot wait till i don't have to do this ever again my base is such a mess especially in this corner right here this looks like the top of your grandma's attic from all this stuff that she has stored up there from every single holiday just to take out for decorations for each season. You got some Easter stuff, Christmas, birthday, fireworks for some reason. But this is my problem. I don't want to move them because then obstacles are going to grow everywhere and I can't even use other base designs because there's obstacles like this that are stuck here and I don't have enough shovels to move everything. Whoever gave me two max dragons and a balloon, thank you very much. Well, war is going to start in 25 minutes. Let's 
see what I'm up against, Ramirez. That's the name of the Fortnite default skin. And fun fact, she is just a woman, so I'm not too concerned about this war attack. This champion warden looks like he's on chemotherapy. <laughs> Wait a second, I always forget, we get two attacks now because we're out of Clan War League. So I'm most likely going to be attacking this one, but all the time, this is what happens. Someone ends up stealing my attack, then I have to go up against the Town Hall 12. But yeah, this guy sucks too, so I think I'll be fine. Yep, he's he is abysmal at this game. He just doesn't give a crap. Level 80 Queen does not have the bother or care to upgrade the king. Wow, at this rate, his champion's gonna be a higher level than his king. You freaking bum. Let's take a look at Shut the Up's 5-star rating base. Self-proclaimed 5-star rating. Is that Goku or is that a Medusa? I think that's supposed to be Goku, but there's not enough walls to complete the hair, so it kind of looks like Medusa's snakes on its head. Interesting. Oh, yeah, but your base is not a 5-stars with just that level alone, so I'll be making my way out. I could not care less to take a look Look at the rest of it. What in tarnation is this guy doing leaving open holes in his base? This is a whoopsie, but I can easily turn this around to be my whoopsie if there's two giant bombs planted inside there, even though I don't think that's enough room, so never mind. Ah, uh, there's one, and they somehow lived, but they are at one HP, so I gotta be careful here. Oh, shoot, I'm out of potions now. I don't think they're gonna get the town... Yeah, they're not gonna target the town hall. They're gonna target the scatter shot next to the town hall. No. No! No! You ruined the skit! You were supposed to be the gingerbread man and go towards the town hall and save the day, but you are going to take out a massive chunk of the base, so I'm not going to be too upset about it. That's freaking annoying, though. How the heck did the invisibility already respawn? If there's one thing I'm almost positive about is that I'm not getting three stars. Actually, I probably will. Wait a second. He was at Town Hall 16. I thought I was going up against a 15 for a second, but now that I'm taking closer looks, it was a Town Hall 16 because it had the sun on top of the Town Hall, meaning this guy's a rusher, and I just three-starred his base somehow. And that always makes me happy when I three-star the garbage player's bases. Oh, uh, the yuck falls down. So did that dragon. He's got a ton of ice cubes. What does that unlock us, though? Ten glowy ore. You love to see that one. And more starry. We now... Oh, never mind. I thought I bought all the starry, but I cannot. I've never seen this animation, I'm pretty sure, of the hammer smacking up against the medallion that fast. We just got 550 capital gold, so now we can put it towards something. Oh, wow. We actually maxed out these walls. Good job, clan. Wow. And nobody has started a single wall upgrade down over in the builder's workshop. I guess I'll be the one to start it. Oh, yep. I did start it. Not sure why they decided to bring it over here when I started it over here, but I'm not going to complain. Is it a monkey? It looks like a monkey. Oh, he waves if you click him and he makes a stupid noise. Do you guys hear it? Listen, listen. Now the air bomb. I guarantee someone did not know that watching this video. Before I end the video, can I upgrade this again? I think I can. Darn it. So what does this upgrade do? God dang it, Skylar. Can you stop donating to me for a second so I can upgrade my fireball? To level 12, it goes. Oh, and 13. And 14. I still have to upgrade it seven more times to max. Okay. Well, my monitor just shut off, so I think I found a good way to end this video. I'm, I'm done. I'm freaking done. Obviously, it doesn't show it on the recording. It shows that the game is still intact, but I can assure you that on my monitor it is not showing right now all right guys so this is my setup so let me show you with what i'm working with here so this is the monitor i use to record everything right that's it right there this is my chair i just got a new desk to kind of upgrade the leg room but here's the thing it's still not too much well actually no it's plenty but here's the issue i barely barely touch the hdmi cable and it just shuts off this monitor I was playing Spider-Man 2. I think I actually mentioned that in the last recording. Playing Spider-Man 2 during every single important cutscene, I'd accidentally barely touch a wire, and you know what would happen? This monitor would shut off, and it's not easy to turn back on. You press the on button, it still doesn't turn on, so what you have to do is plug in and unplug the monitor again through the dusty HDMI cables back here. Through the dusty HDMI cables back here. Oh great, now I completely messed up the game. The game's not supposed to be on this monitor, it's supposed to be on this one. Yeah, I've been trying to turn it on and off for a few moments now, and it's still not working. And don't mind the beach towel that's on the, the window here. I tried to use that to block off some of the light while playing Spider-Man, but it only done a portion, of course, because I can't really use a blanket because it'll be too heavy for the little piece of plastic that's hanging onto it. And it's still not turning on. Now I have to use the toilet real quick. I'll be right back. Yep, still trying to figure out how to turn it back on. And it's not doing anything. I've tried unplugging everything. 
and it won't work. I guess we can start by giving it a falcon punch. And then it turns on? It turns on after I punch it? No, you're done. You're freaking done. Hold on. Well, guys, if you have this monitor and it does not appear to be working or turning on, even after unplugging every single cord in the freaking monitor, just give it a nice punch right dead in the center and then it'll fix it for you. But if you'd like to ensure that it'll be fixed forever, you see where this Eagle Artillery is right there? Be sure you give it a nice punch right there. Ah. <sighs> oh. And then it'll be fixed for good. Although your knuckles might hurt a little bit after punching a glass screen. And you may break the top of your monitor, but that's going to be fine. That's just a cosmetic anyway. Let's see if I can just take out the whole entire frame. It's kind of hard to break this with one hand. Oh, I just cut my thumb open. Yep, I just cut my thumb open doing that one. Another way that you can fix the monitor is you want to, again, go to the Eagle Artillery and then just smack it with a wrench. And then you're good to go there. This has been your episode of Clash of Clans. I might come out of retirement. Oh my god. That is the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. The builder's face. In the abyss of the monitor. Anyway, I think that's going to about wrap it up for today's video. Maybe for the rest of the month until I can afford a new monitor. And yeah, thank you all for this amazing support as well. Because of this support, I can afford a new monitor actually. But yeah, I'll be seeing you all in the next one.